Hi, welcome back to Motor Performance. I'm Mike behind the camera is Jay. Today we are somewhere different. Before that, the weekend just gone, we were at Supercar Fest, an amazing event. If you're ever in the area, next time, definitely recommend going it. We did take all three cars there, and obviously there's a lot of hype in supercars, but all three got really some good attention. Also over the weekend, we did notice that Shmivon's 50 channel on YouTube shared BOTB's post about winning the Motec M240i. So we thought we'd best just give him a quick call, bring him a couple of cars down, including the 240i, down to the museum, have a quick look round and see what they think. Thanks a lot. So if you don't follow this museum channel, you won't know who this guy is. I've known you for probably about five years now, Tom. Probably about that, yeah. Going back to, uh, I think we were introduced to Joe Achilles. All them years ago, yeah. We yes. had Joe actually a couple of weeks ago, Lodi's M3. Ooh, so okay. that was good. Explain yes. to everyone who you are and what you do. So I am garage manager here at this museum. So basically just responsible for the building itself, what goes on, but mostly the cars within it, which is obviously the fun part. There's a lot of, a lot of movement of the cars, make sure yes. they keep working. Yes, hence why there's so many of them missing at the moment. So we'll have to get you down at another point once they're all here. But Happy, quite always, out, but always welcome to come down. What's your favourite? <sighs> My favourite, honestly, always was the GTA. Because of the sound? Because of the sound, and not only that, it's the old school nature of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's heavy clutch, heavy steering, hydraulic. You, no, none of this auto blip, no electronics, you've yeah, got yeah. to drive the car. And it's a fairly new car still. Yeah, and exactly, but it's very old school in the way it goes about what it does. Yeah. But I was quite surprised by the Ferrari SF90. <laughs> I, I spent nine months criticising it yeah. whilst it was on order, saying it's going to be too much power, it's going to be unenjoyable, unusable, and well, Ferrari have pulled it out of the bag. It's absolutely amazing. So, next to here, can you take me out on it? Of course. Look at of that. Of course. Yeah, it's currently at service, but as soon as it's back, we'll. We'll get you down and we'll go for cool. a ride. We've got some other things to have a little look at as well. But yes. we decided to bring you some cars down. Like I just sort of said, you guys dropped a post from BOTB. Yes. Saying that BOTB are giving away the Motec M240i. And I thought, well, it's best bring one down. So let's have a little look. Yeah, let's go and have a look around. So, Motor M240i, it's a quick walk around of what we've done and then yeah. I'll have to get your initial impressions and maybe one day when you let me take you on the SF90, I'll let you take this out. Yeah, sounds like a plan. <laughs> so, plan. It'd be good to see what it drives like. They're good cars, really, really good cars out the box. Really quick as well, so BMW nail this M like market. I've really heard well. really good things yeah. to be fair, and I've heard it's it's a leap year on from the previous model, which yeah. obviously was based on the one series. This is based the on the 340, exactly. Yeah. So. yeah, so this is the same as an M340i, 440i without the hybrid. Yeah, so yeah, six cylinder X drive B58, meant to be about 360, 370 horsepower, but the dyno and around close to 400 standard. Okay. Okay, so we've done drop-in pipe across panel filter. Yep. Remus OPF back exhaust, just to give some sound. All new cars are pretty weak. I did notice when I pulled it in, thank you for that, that it, <laughs> yes. it, it sounds really good. Yeah, we'll open up the valves and get some revs because it will really sound yep. really decent in here. 
Um, Ibex springs, we work well with Ibex, we develop springs on them pretty quickly. So it definitely looks like it's sitting a little bit lower. More sort of squat. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Looks, more, more purposeful. They need to. And then obviously we matched it up with our MW3, which is a 20 inch stagger fitment all the way around. So we're yeah. a 275 and a 245 tire. And what were the standard tires? Were they 19 inch? Well, this one actually or? came with a 19 inch pack, okay. yeah, because it has the M Pro pack. So yeah. It has the slightly wider arch, so do two different options. So um, have we lost, how are we in terms of ride comfort going to the slightly bigger wheel than the Well, this still has adaptive screen. suspension. Okay. Uh, about the same, if I'm honest. Yeah. When you are obviously dropping a car, obviously onto IBACs, it keeps that ride quality. It doesn't upset it, you know, the spring rates are a lot harder. And then obviously, yes, we've gone up an inch in tyre size, but the yeah. chassis is still designed to take a 20-inch wheel. Okay. So you're not really upset it too much. And yeah. as long as you go for a decent manufacturer tyre, yeah. sidewall is pretty quality as well. If you yeah. go for some, no, some no-name, you've got Michelin. You've got the best on there. Yeah, so. if you go for some no-name, obviously the sidewalls are quite hard, stop and flexing, but yeah, yeah. Michelin nail it. And then we just tie it along with the, you know, the BMW M Performance carbon body kit, which works really, really well. And you know, yeah. in this colour, in this place, next to some of the company. It's, yeah, uh, to be fair, it fits in quite well. And obviously we all know Tim loves a purple car. And yeah. this is a glorious shade of purple. I think we'll have to pop it next to the... See the actual differences, yeah. yeah. Maybe we could put some... Uh, well, we did think about silver wheels. We do a different wheel style to this, okay. which is just about imminent. So maybe we we'll put silver ones. We'll have a little look at ideas. I think, that, I think but... silver wheels are coming back. They're very classy. Yeah, I'll give but you that, definitely. Yeah. I think the one thing that I'm never going to get over on this car... I mean, you know what I'm going to say, the rear lights. Don't know what you're talking about, mate. They're absolutely fine. <laughs> I think it's been a point of controversy on this car. Yeah, exactly. I think it's fair to say. They're, I still haven't fully grown on them yet. That's fine. I but appreciate From that driver's seat, you don't see them. No, this is very <laughs> true. Fine. But everyone else does. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I appreciate it. The, the colour does help. It's far yeah. better in this colour than in maybe the red or, you know. But yeah. it's still possibly the only thing I'm not. I'm BMW, sure the styling is questionable. On some of the cars, they yeah. haven't got a car that's complete perfect across the range. If it's the front on the M4 or the front of the 135 on the back yeah. of the 240. The, the front of the M4 door, the M3, did grow on me over time. Though. Well, you I'm had the, the green one, obviously, did the exhaust yeah. on. And obviously, with this one here, we've done it through the front splitter and stuff like that. It is quite an aggressive look. Um, I think people are warming to it. Yeah. The biggest problem is, is that when you park any BMW next to the others, there's no real family like there yes. used to be. Yeah, no, I get you that. Know, look it's... at a Porsche through the range, they're all Porsches. Yeah. These could really be anything. So I think they're going through a bit of a identity but yeah. i can't change that we can just enhance them slightly yeah no i get yeah. that and you guys well from from previous experience we've always done a very good job at that so do you think what do you think should we get one on fleet <clears throat> i think obviously it is up to tim but i certainly wouldn't say no i think this would be quite a good replacement to the rs3 to be honest with you it's a very similar sort of platform small hatchback yeah i mean we had the saloon rs3 anyway so it's not but it's that small kind of compact sports car four-wheel drive yeah plenty of power I think it would be quite a good replacement. And obviously it's quite a rear biased four wheel drive system. It is, so it can really sort of push yourself out. Unlike the 135i, which is more front biased, but yeah. get the best of everything. Well, yeah. that's good enough for me. So yeah, we'll grab a bit more B-roll and then I'll try and convince you to buy one. Okay, so we'll have a chat <laughs> off camera while you guys <laughs> capture some more. Make sure you give them a quick follow and uh, enjoy the B-roll. Thanks a lot.